if Aragon can defeat Castile here and then slowly unite, they could form Iberia and be a very strong country in Europe. At least the borders are evening out a bit. <laughs> and uh, the it's not going to be as border gory on the border anymore. This war between these two rivals has lasted, I don't even know, I'll have to check the date when the war started. But I, be I believe it's been going on for around 10 years. Most of Serbia's- oh god. Serbia has abandoned the front with Ethiopia and Ethiopia's gonna start taking the Middle East. Ah, welcome back, boys. We're back here. Every state independent. That uh, that last episode got some attention. It <laughs> for some reason it has way more views than all the rest of the episodes, and it's episode four. So that's interesting, but I'm not complaining. Really quick shout out to all the patrons: Cursed Potassium, Call Space, Jordan X, Boba Fett 13, Infinity Mapping, Bubby Abiar, and Infinitum Gamer. Thanks everybody for your continued support. I very much appreciate it, and if you would like to support the channel that you love, of course, you can find the Patreon link in the description below. Now, boys, I've been planning on doing this for a little bit, but we are going to be launching another, of course, the greatest thing that's ever came out of this channel, Country Ball Art Contest. I think it's like the third one, if I'm correct. Now, the substance for this contest is basically anything from my channel, but preferably maybe this series or something recent. All you gotta do is just make a Country Ball comic. It can be however many panels you want it to be, but it's just about an event in one of my videos. It could be from Every State Independent. It could be from one of the one-off videos I do. It could be anything. So you just create a Country Ball comic from that, and then you submit it to me on Twitter. My Twitter is at CalmDownLevelUp. You just go there, you send it to me, tweet it at me, and I will receive it. And I will stockpile them all, and then we will do a big reveal. A big, we'll do a big slideshow of everything. It's gonna be awesome. Now the prize, I'm not sure yet. I'm definitely gonna make it worth your while. I'm trying to see if I can secure a CK3 code uh, for free from Paradox. If not, I'll probably end up buying one. And then as well, I might put like the comic in like my banner and some other stuff. So, so yeah, make sure you submit a comic of Country Balls doing stuff. <laughs> that happened in my videos and you will see it on screen all right boys i've let this run for a little while you might notice some differences there's some things that need to be talked about let's do a big one first um we have a different country here as you can see cambria now exists and the interesting thing about cambria is i, th I think it's because of course east midlands formed wales and then they seized all of the state of northern england so I believe that this is actually... It was at this moment that Calm Down Level Up made a huge mistake. So, ignore me mentioning England whatsoever. It is still Wales. I didn't know that Cambria was another name for Wales. <laughs> Formed England again. But it's the fascist version. So, what a flag that is. The English have become fascist. Other than that... Oh, is this, a, is this a also changed... Oh yeah, the Democratic People's Republic of Slovenia um, seems to be losing against Veneto still. Veneto totally non-aligned. Also, Kingdom of Hungary seems to be a new superpower almost. They are at 50 divisions, which is definitely comparable with the rest of this area. They've just sort of suddenly expanded. They were kept kind of small for a while, but now they are here making their show. Bulgaria still exists. They still are in this encirclement here around Bucharest, and then they are still here in Istanbul, but I think Istanbul probably falls soon. Yeah, they're really almost losing this battle. It doesn't matter if they recycle these guys in, these guys are not in good shape. That was just a big war, New York declaring war on Michigan. Michigan is um, currently stuck. I know, I know a lot of you guys are rooting for Michigan uh, after seeing how big it's gotten. It is currently stuck right here, however. Newfoundland sort of has a good nine divisions protecting the entrance and uh, Michigan is really having a hard time crossing. New York declaring war on Michigan makes me think Michigan might not be as strong as we think, except I think that the, the division counts are pretty similar. 
We have poor Kansas being killed off by Illinois, the giant wall that is Kansas shall be no more. And then of course we have the new Soviet state of Florida. Um, no communist flag there, just the normal Florida flag. Being invaded by Pennsylvania, which is one of the strongest on the North American continent, with 71 divisions. Texas is still besieging New Orleans, definitely a bad situation in that city. Been probably under siege for like six months at this point. Maranhao in Portugal seems to be doing pretty good, killing off Para. They're at 29, which is okay. Not as strong as Uruguay, though, with its, like, roughly 55. And I think Uruguay will become fascist soon, so we'll get to see that change and what that looks like. The Eritrean Kingdom is sort of a new player as well. Um, Unitary South Africa and Great Mozambique now uh, are all players here in Africa. Dahomey, of course. Our pick. The people's pick. Our homie. Dahomey. The Kingdom of Libya, probably the monster of North Africa, even though it only has 19 divisions. Um, oh, finally, Sinai was killed off as well. There's sort of a three-way war, was a four-way war happening for Egypt. Um, it seems to have cooled off a little bit, but these guys are still all fighting each other. Egypt has been a very violent place for a while. The socialist state of Syria um, fighting off Dodecanese because after Izmir fell, Dodecanese was able to take probably about this portion here. And Syria is just cleaning it up. Also, Azerbaijan is still trying to kill off Samsun. Samsun's doing a good job uh, defending. They do have 18 divisions, and uh, Azerbaijan only has 31. The strongest country, sort of in the Middle East region, is probably St. George, if you're counting it. 37, it is going after Ukraine right now. Franken's still stuck here, as you can tell, their divisions are not doing that great. I think the best thing for Franken right now is for this to all get killed off, and this to all get lost so that they can actually focus on taking other stuff. Pomeran, on the other hand, continues to expand north. They got basically all of uh, southern Sweden, and now they're going after this guy. So they're just uniting uh, Scandinavia. Bohemia seems to be defeating Lithuania. A lot of you guys are placing bets and rooting for either side on this. Seems to be Bohemians that are going to win. We also now have the uh, Democratic People's Republic of Lvov, Lvov or Lvov, whichever is correct. I was also told by a comment, a way I can say this that might be uh, slightly correct, is closer to Shitomir, and uh, I really like that, if that's correct. And then of course, something I didn't bring up last episode that uh, is obviously the elephant in the room, Guangdong. Just, uh, he's gone. <laughs> Guangdong is no more. Killed off by Macau. And, you know, it was coming for a little while. It's hard to uh, complain about, but it happens. Who do you think is going to win in China? Hunan, the Sichuan now Republic, is because they went democratic. Uh, so they actually have an actual democratic government. We have Jiangsu here still. We have Hibai, which is actually looking pretty good. The Koreans are still a player. And then we have this Eastern Russian one. All right, let's get this running some more. That's a good amount of updates, I think. I think we've covered most. Okay, we've... Just had a peace deal. Kingdom of Jordan got, like, most of... Sinai was finally annexed. I thought Sinai was already... Interesting. The Libyans are not gonna go that way anymore? Well, that was a totally... Total waste of time, then, for the Libyans. Like, yeah, I guess they're going, uh... They're gonna go this direction instead. North Transylvania was annexed almost entirely into Hungary. I think actually entirely into Hungary. Wow. So, yeah, Hungary is on the move. They're now gonna help go after Bulgaria with... With Albania here. And I would assume afterward they'll probably attack Lvov. And I would assume afterward they'll probably attack Lvov. Or, I guess, Slovenia. I sort of forgot to mention, I think somebody said that I could say this like Karelia. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be, unless people consider this to be also Karelia. But anyways, Kariala, <laughs> as it's read here. Um, they now hold Moscow. So a huge player in the uh, Russian theater is this Finnish state. So, interesting. Um... Belgorod has built a wall all the way from the Ariel Sea to the uh, Arctic Ocean. <laughs> and they're killing off uh, this guy here. It's very ugly borders, but it is a really strong country. It's got 57, definitely a major player in Russia. And then if this is Wolejka, that's how you would say that, they have almost killed off Estonia. Estonia is almost gone. Unitary South Africa has declared on North Angola. What a flag that is. Oh, North Angola is this little guy. <laughs> wow, they've reconquered normal Angola. Unitary South Africa's entire army is in the south, it appears. Um, but Angola's pretty much whole army is in the north of them. So it's going to be a little while until these guys actually meet. So finally, Mississippi was killed off. It looks like Illinois has the entirety 
of Mississippi. Texas didn't get to annex any of it, which is very strange. But uh, the Texans are now going to go after Arizona, see if they can scrap up some of this. We also have nationalist Baja California down there, which is definitely curious. Uh, Panama. Okay, Panama has reformed. It's not uh, Costas Hermanas anymore. It is just straight up Panama. We now have an Albanian federation because they've gone democratic. Interesting. A lot of people are... A lot of countries right now are changing ideologies. We're seeing that everywhere. Bulgaria is now encircled in Bucharest with their 12 divisions. Um, getting attacked as well as encircled in Istanbul. Both looking very bad for for uh, Bulgaria. Qatar was just annexed, so rest in peace. Um, but Yemen and Kuwait are the final two in the Arabian Peninsula. Let's compare some stats here. 26 divisions for the Kingdom of Kuwait. And then Yemen, we have 10. So probably Kingdom of Kuwait is going to be the victor in the Arabian Peninsula. That does not mean they'll be the victor in the Middle East, because they seem to be slightly behind countries like Azerbaijan. Yep, Uruguay has definitely become fascist. New constitutional Uruguay declared war on Santiago. That means they've just annexed some stuff. Fascist Uruguay is now attacking Santiago in Chile. Okay, that means Bucharest has fallen. Kingdom of Hungary has declared war on Lvov. Yes, I was correct. They are going to hit Lvov in the back whilst they are defending from Shidomir. <laughs> Hungary is just a real, a brand new aggressive player in Europe. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys will be rooting for them. Legionnaires Bulgaria has died. Rest in peace. Oh, look at this. The Albanian Federation declared war on Syria. Oh, that means Bulgaria became fascist like right before it all ended. Oh, and it uh, looks like Albania was able to get Bucharest as well over the Hungarians. Hopefully they get across there before Syrians get here so that they can actually have that beachhead. But yeah, that's very big. Uh, Syria is definitely not ready for that. They only have 31. So the Greeks or the Albanians, whatever you want to call them, they're finally going east. I think really just what this means is, is that Dodecanese will live to see another day. <laughs> because every time a country tries to kill them off, like Izmir or Syria, something attacks the thing that was killing them and saves their day. Also, Syria's starting to have manpower problems. They're down to 59k. Also, rest in peace, Kansas. You did good for a while. You know, you should be proud. Illinois is now a monster in North America. Oh, uh, Palmer just took out uh, Norway. Rest in peace. I think it was uh, this one had run a pretty strong Norwegian country. Now they're going after Lapland. They're just continuing to be able to hit nations in the back as they're defending from other stuff. We have two Central Asian powers hitting it off now. Uralsk and uh, Greater Pamir. Interesting. 24 for Pamir and... Looks like 33 for Ralsk. Also, boys ripped the Great Mongolian State. They're just getting hit from every side. Every neighbor is attacking them. We have a new Omsk, this uh, great power here that's really hitting them hard. Rest in peace, Mongolian State. You were really fun to watch. Okay, have uh, the Ukrainians just encircled most of St. George's army? I think they I think they have. I think they've uh, encircled pretty much the entirety of it. Wow, it's just collapsing now. Sevastopol was under siege for like a year in game probably. They ended up breaking the siege and then just taking the supply route and now like pretty much the majority of St. George's army is uh encircled in Crimea north of Crimea. Also we have minor gains from the English into Scotland. Texas has declared war on nationalist Baja California and Arizona was annexed. What? Nah. I thought Texas got it. <laughs> Why did that happen? The peace deal was- that's a horrible peace deal. Also, Dahomey is now a socialist state, which um, I'm sure some of you might be disappointed, but I really like uh, how it just encircles Mali, just totally. Wow. 76 divisions. It is now killing off Casablanca. Finally, Savoy has won their war against this French, southern French state. Also... Libya has been cucked again because Republican Algiers just took Constantine. I'm sure that the Libyans are now going to be at war with Algiers, yes. Who is Savoy going after now? Probably more of these southern guys, yes. Nationalist Midi Pyrenees. Hold on, what just happened there? Did Navarre just annex all of it? Yes, they did. So now uh, Savoy is going after Navarre instead. This is it. This is Navarre. This isn't Midi Pyrenees, guys. Yeah, we have the total flip. Kursen is now destroying St. Kursen is now destroying Free State of St. George. Look at that. Look at that encirclement. Oh my gosh, that's six, is that 16 divisions in there? That's like the biggest no you moment of this whole game so far. And it's gonna happen, boys. We're gonna have to say goodbye to the Kingdom of Scotland soon, as Glasgow is encircled by just hundreds of divisions. And Edinburgh was already taken. Also, the Empire of Texas exists. Did they already? Yeah, they already annexed uh, Baja California. And that that is fascist, a uh, curious... 
uh, I guess, unique take on the swastika on there as well. The Air Train Kingdom has just gotten bigger. Tanzania, I think it was actually Kenya, but the state of Tanzania was finally taken. Now they're attacking the Rwandan Kingdom, which has some, uh, some territory right here in the, in Central Africa. Also, our homie is making just big gains in the Casablanca really fast. There are 20 divisions encircled in Glasgow. This urban warfare is uh, the Scots' last stand. Did I just see a parliamentary republic? Oh, Guangxi was formed as well. That's interesting. I think uh, that's Macau that formed it. Oh yeah, the Mongolian parliamentary republic. They went democratic. That's kind of cool. Last thing before they die. Also, Imperial Belgorod. Cool. They went fascist. And the Democratic People's Republic of Bohemia. <laughs> They've gone communist. They didn't change their flag, though. Mercy has declared war on the Galizan Socialist State. There's changing their names a lot right now. Those divisions are whittling down real quick. Yep. Rest in peace. The Kingdom of Scotland was annexed. Are they going to continue to being at war with anybody? They are not at war because they don't have ships. They can do the decision, though, unite the islands, which I'm not sure uh, what's going to happen if they do it. Okay, they've done it. I think they clicked it. They just gained war support from it, I think. I don't think it changes any names or anything. They do have troop convoys going out places. Oh, are they just going here? I see they're just like filling up these islands. United States of Pomeran as well. They've gone democratic on uh, Karelia and uh, Karelia and the country to their south are not war too. And it looks like the uh, Belarusian one is uh, winning pretty strongly. They almost have Moscow. Also, the Iberians are one step closer to being united. It's just Andalusia and Mercia left. Savoy has Navarre technically. Andalusia is actually going after Aquitaine interesting flag as well. They both do actually. Mercia and Andalusia both have pretty cool flags. We also have Burma is definitely a player with 32 divisions. They're taking out Laos as well as Guangxi. They're both going after them. The Bengal Sultanate looks pretty good too with 39. They're fighting Hunan. Look at Kursin. Oh my god, St. George. Just getting destroyed. There's nothing. There's no defenses left. They have eight divisions. They're trying to create a defensive line. That was the most no you ever. The Battle of Sevastopol was essentially like a major Stalingrad moment, I guess. Also, Lvov died, and I don't think Shudobir got any of it with their 68 divisions. Uh, Hungary is pretty much caught up with 62, and it's huge now. It's going to war with Kherson. Okay, it's going to keep going this way. That's probably a smart idea. The Libyan electorate. Look at that. Is it democratic? The Imperial Bolgrod has declared war on Free State of St. George. Everyone is picking on them now after they lost. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely divisions down here. Man, something, something is weird with these peace deals, because Dahomey definitely had, like, all of Casablanca, like, a lot of these states, and this guy got it instead. Feels kind of strange, to me, at least. You know, I just want to root for my homie. I want my homie to do good. <laughs> Anyways, boys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and if you guys would like to support the content that you like, that you've been watching, Please make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description below. Make sure to F for Guangdong in the chat, as well as F for Scotland, and uh, F for Free State of St. George. Jeez. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.